Okay, so now we'll get to some of the slightly more interesting stuff um, on some of the sort of new features for sound creation. Um, the first thing that's pretty obvious is we've got an extra oscillator on our analog and an extra one on our noise. And this really expands the, the possibilities of what you can achieve and it makes the noise oscillator just way more useful um, and means you can sort of have like just a noise, you can have sort of some of the other uh, sort of pad type sounds. Um, and it just really expands the potential of what you can do, especially for things like pads and sort of sweeping sounds where you can modulate then sort of a lot more OSCs. Um, the virtual analog OSCs, again, really useful feature. Uh, just means you can have a couple of sort of main OSCs creating your main sound and then you can use the third for like a sub or um, anything you want really. So um, I'll sh play some of the sounds to sort of make, take advantage of of that. So some of these bass analog sounds. You can get a much fuller sound because we've got that sub oscillator in the background and you can get a, a lot closer to a mini moog sound which um, has three oscillators built in. So you get a much more rounded solid sound. Um, and to go along with that, we've got a, an absolute ton more waveforms. Um, We've got some sort of multi-sampled um, pure analog ones. I'll just initialize that again. Just to give you some variety in the different tones, we've got a, a Moog saw. It's been sampled off a of Moog, slightly warmer than the the standard saw. Just has a slightly deeper bass, and then we have a sort of profit type type saw. I'm adjusting the wrong one here. So that's the M saw. The P saw is a lot brighter. It's not as full bodied. It's brilliant for strings and sort of pads or sort of super saw leads where you want it to sort of really fizz and, and have that sort of middle ground of um, sort of nice attacky sort of bright sound. And then we have our standard pulses which we had before. Got a sort of sub saw. Again, just a real solid variation on a, a saw with a sort of sub in behind. Just something you can go quite low with, but still has um, a lot of integrity in the sort of middle area. Sync pulse. Just like a real sort of middly sort of solid sound. Again, good for sort of beefing up um, stuff in the middle. Um, and then we have a uh, comb. And these are sort of um, based on a lot of requests we were getting. I think we did some stuff on our live shows and there's been a lot of requests in the forums for that sort of comb sounding sort of bass line that's um, popular in main room house and some trance stuff. So those uh, comb waves will sort of get you part of the way there of um, creating those type of sounds. And then we have a bunch of digital waves. And then these F mod ones are sort of based again on sort of Skrillexy type stuff, dubstep, with sort of big screechy sound. Um, so they're really handy for um, those big sort of dubstep complex drill leads. And then we have a few others, some of these we had before. So a ton of stuff there to sort of um, use for your, um, your standard oscillators. And then we've got um, more additions to the noise oscillators as well. So we've got proper white noise just a standard white noise that you would get in an analog and um, so next we've got uh, our noise oscillator 
and we have uh, a bunch of stuff. And next up, we have a bunch of new stuff in our noise oscillators. Um, the first thing we sort of wanted to add was a sort of a basic white noise. So we've got that in. We've also got pink noise. Um, sort of stuff you would get in a standard analog synth. And then we've got a bunch of sort of new... Just sort of, again, we wanted to, in this we always wanted to create sort of more complex sounds, stuff that's sort of going to sit on top of um, sort of more analog oscillators and just give you more sort of complex richness. Again, brilliant for pads. All very wide, very rich, um, sort of, some of them have chords, some of them don't. And then some sort of just noises again, atmospheric stuff, great for, you know, just creating atmospheres in the back of your tracks. So there we go, a bunch of just really nice sort of complex, some ethereal, some sort of more aggressive waveforms that you can use to um, beef up your pads or stabs or whatever. Um, and now we've obviously got our, we've got two oscillators, so you can have, you know, a basic white noise in one. You could have um, something sort of like a choir or something in the other one. <laughs> Combine that with a bunch of um, voices from analog stuff. You know, so you can sort of print loads of different stuff. Um, just loads of the options there to um, make different types of sounds. And then our last os is the attack let me just get rid of this and we have a bunch more stuff in it as well again brilliant for just adding attack to different sounds you know if you just wanted to add a bit of a hit there to you and we've got our decay function there so it's really handy and um, we've got a bunch of new Shapes. Classic 90s sound of a TX81Z. Um. All the old guitar ones. sort of hi-hat and then some sort of kick clicks so if you're wanting to create kicks and um, so go into our drums folder get a kick on the go so now we've got uh, click hit you can add on top of your kicks that just makes things sound a lot nicer you can obviously change the pitch or whatever so if you're into making your own kicks do that 
So a lot of control there just for, again, creating your own sounds. And they can be used on basses as well. So, um, yeah, I'll show you that in a second. Um, there's a few other sort of waveforms that I'll show you. So, we've got some noise hits. Again, just sort of handy to sort of embed with stuff if you want to make big sort of stabby sounds. Then they'll sort of give you the power in the background. Got our pianos. And then we've got a bunch of toms. These are sort of real deep toms. Um, one thing these are brilliant for is layering up with basses. So, uh, we created a few sort of bass sounds that use the toms. There's one using a click. Um, and what these toms do, I'll just turn down the other OSCs so you can sort of hear. They just add a solidity in the into the background of the of the bass. It just means when you're sort of, if you're doing techno or deep house where you want to sort of play a lot of different notes but you want that sort of solidity of the bass to stay, um, stay right there, then you've got it. So that works really nicely, um, and that's it for the attack osc. Um, and I'll just go back to our um, virtual osc. So there's a few new additions to it as well. So um, previously in our detune section, when you turn the voices up, it actually got quieter. And that was due to sort of algorithm we had for sort of trying to um, normalize the sound. So we sort of got rid of that. It just didn't work. Didn't give you a nice sound. So now when you um, turn the voices up, the level should all match up a lot nicer. And you just get a nice big super saw without too much effort. Uh, the second feature is this D DT shape, which is D D-Chin shape. Um, and this sort of relates to um, how spread apart the actual different tunings are. And on some synths like uh, the JP eight thousand, they sort of like have a, a curved um, tuning. So when you sort of turn the D tune up, they get wider and wider and wider. So we sort of have that at one scale, and then the other scale we have a more linear, and um, where the sort of uh, D tunes are packed tighter together, but they're sort of still still wide apart. So this gives you um, sort of an ability to create sort of sort of it's very subtly different sort of D tunes. So we can. Try to put our D-chin up full, and I'll show you. We've got, down at the bottom, we've got our more linear one where all the, th the D-chins are closely packed together. So you can get sort of more fizzy sounding D-chins, or if you go right up the top. It's like really mega D-chins. And it just gives you a bit more control over that D chin sound. So if we have it about halfway. So very handy and just to sort of fine tune that, that sound. Um so that's it for our OSCs and our sort of uh, waveforms. Uh, in the next video, we're going to take a look at some of the new filters and the new EQ.